Does God want us to live a dull, boring life? Grab your coffee. Let's talk about that. Hey guys, Jeff here from That Bold Life, your weekly encouragement to help you live a bold life for Jesus. So you might have noticed right behind me, I have a sign. Okay, I have a vault boy and I have a sign. Yes, I'll play Fallout. That is my poster sign thing I got from Hobby Lobby. Anyway, it says, enjoy every moment. Now, actually, I used to have that same phrase on my car because I think there's just something so powerful about that, that we should enjoy every moment. But are we doing that? Do you enjoy every moment? Of course not. You're going to have some hard times in your life. You're going to have some painful moments. If you enjoyed every moment, I would say you're probably a lunatic because there are going to be some things happen that you don't enjoy. However, I feel like we are called to live a life of joy. I see way too often this happen with typical Christian, you know, cliches that that Christians have to be all serious and and you know, we can't smile, we can't hang out, like, you know, we can't party. We can't, you know, smile in church. You just got to look miserable all the time. That's just that's what Jesus expected when he called you, okay? You accepted this call to a life of misery. Welcome to the party right? That is not at all what Christianity is about. If you read through the Gospels, you cannot possibly see Jesus as this serious, miserable man. He was, he was God in the flesh. He was joyful. He was youthful. He was, he was so, man, he had to be exciting. You know, Jesus had to be exciting. There were always people around him. You don't follow someone who's boring. You follow someone who's exciting. You follow someone who is fun. Someone who's filled with joy. I mean, when I see the Jesus of the Bible, I don't see some miserable God coming down to his creation and conducting them, telling them what to do and what they did wrong. I see a man who sat with children. I see a God who, who sat down and ate with his creation. I see a God who loved people. I see a God who made wine for a party that I believe was alcoholic, but I guess that's a video for another time. I see a God who was so fun, so joyful, that people flocked around him. I see in the Bible where David says, God, give me back the joy of my salvation. The joy of my salvation. Not the miserable understandingness of my salvation, but the joy of my salvation. Nehemiah says, the joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the world. Just do a search on joy in the Bible. It's all through the Bible. We are not called to live a miserable life. We are called to live a joy-filled, a youthful, bright, reverent life. That is the life we're called to. Not a life of misery, not a dull and boring life. We are called to enjoy every moment. That is what we are called to do. So don't, don't think because you're a Christian you can't have fun. To be honest, you should be the life of the party, not, not the one doing like keg stands and stuff. You should be the one that people want to be around when they're not drunk, okay? So be the life of the party. Be that person that is going to be fun and smiling and joyful and that you're just cool to hang out with because that's the people people want to be around. And when people want to be around you, you can tell them about the one who you're around. When people want to be around you, you can tell them about Jesus. You can tell them about the one you know. You can tell them about the joy of your salvation. You can tell them that the joy of the Lord is your strength. You can tell them why you're so happy because you have salvation, because you know Jesus. That is why you are so happy. That is why you are so joyful. And people will listen because they want that joy in their own lives. Be joyful. Enjoy every moment. And people want to be around you and you'll be able to tell more people about Jesus that you'll be able to go out and make more disciples because people want to be around. Notice this, it's just like when Jesus walked the earth in the flesh. People chose to be around him because he was joyful and he was youthful and he was fun and energizing. And people don't want to be around a dull, boring God that causes them to not have any fun. People want to be around those that are joyful, energizing youthful. They want to be around those people. If you show them that's who Jesus really was, they're going to want to be around Jesus. If you want to actually accomplish the Great Commission and make more disciples, it's very simple. Enjoy every moment. Go out and live a fun life. Don't be stupid. Don't be sinful. But you can have fun. 
You can smile. You can laugh. You can hang out. You can be Jesus in the life of other people so that you can point other people to Jesus. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I release content just like this every single week. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. All right, guys, keep living that bold life.